let me speak to me. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, for your kind initiative to adjust WhatsApp and social media from the encryption policy. Surveillance is by dawn and biometric citizenship is the violation of uh, the right to privacy and uh, the sovereignty of citizens. In spite of this, I am personally grateful that as a journalist, I was quite confused how to continue my duty as a scribe as it seemed that the flow of information is going to be blocked. As journalists, we have to communicate information without holding it in the right perspective, not only for the people, but for uh, the governance also. If uh, you don't get the correct information from grassroots level, then you cannot govern a country. And again, thanks. But I am quite annoyed to see your act to uh, interfere in the affairs of Nepal. It is quite unfortunate that the Nepalese people had adopted their new constitution. There might be differences of opinion and it is their matter. We have not to interfere. But Nepali is media has launched um, uh, uh, a go back India campaign once again as it launched last time during the Nepalese earthquake as India is alleged to import economic blockade just for the sake of political region and the region is nothing but the agenda of Hindu. As Nepal has refused to go back to the history of monarchy, go back to the history of Hindu nation, uh, the government of India which roots in RSS Rastiya Sam Sevak Sangh has imposed economic blockade of Nepal. As a citizen of India, I am quite ashamed to suppress the sovereignty of Nepalese citizens, the sovereignty of Nepal. It would complicate uh, the problem in Nepal uh, and uh, for your information, the Madhesi and Janjati movement is not uh, for, uh, pushing uh, the demand for Hindu Rast. In fact, they are fighting at least those elite politicians from higher caste. The 30 from the 31 percent demography of uh, the hill oriented Kathmandu oriented Nepal uh, and uh, the 60 percent demography of Nepal uh, is consisted of Janjati, the tribal people, and the Madhesi, the scheduled caste people. They have already already rejected the Hindu rest of what they are, de are demanding 
their demand is proper and proportional representation, equality and social justice, and the new constitution has tried to solve the issue and the um, uh, people in Nepali parliament has addressed the issue to adopt uh, with the federal setup. The controversy is uh, uh, um, about the readjustment of political division, political geography for which this violence is uh, the reaction and it is in no sense uh, the demand of Hindu rasta. And why should India impose economic blockade against a free nation which has rejected to be a Hindu nation because India wants to be a Hindu nation and only the Kashmir is the obstruction because Kashmir is a Muslim majority form of province and until Kashmir remains with India, India remains secular and uh, democratic whereas RSS announced its agenda to make India a Hindu nation within 2020 and to make the globe a Hindu globe within 2030. The problem is that the Bajrangis, the Hindu Tajikate have uh, declared a war against the conscience of the nation. Mr. Pansare, Mr. Davalkar and Mr. Kulbergi, the three icons of national conscience had been killed. Uh, latest uh, news is uh, the Marathi iconic journalist Mikhil Wagle is threatened with a uh, 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 threatened uh, uh, to be killed by the uh, Hindu uh, brigade because uh, he criticizes the Hindu agenda and uh, it is quite alarming that uh, uh, those Bajrangis have declared to chop up tongues of the journalists who criticize Hindu. Uh, BJP and cases the iconic Netaji who supported uh, diversity of Indian nation and pluralism in India and he warned in his uh, last uh, speech perhaps addressing Bengal youth that they should be aware that the pluralism and diversity should be uh, protected and here Netaji in this space in uh, um, uh, 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 clearly warned against the uh, Hindu agenda which was represented by Hindu Mahasabha then and Netaji ensured that no fascist element should take over Indian politics. It is only after uh, Netaji's exit from India uh, that uh, uh, the um, uh, communal politics overtook Indian conscience and India was divided. For me, it seems the divided geopolitics is inflicted with the holocaust of partition and the holocaust of transfer of population and the holocaust continues amidst the repetition of genocide and ethnic cleansing and it is just in accordance with the Hindu agenda, it is inhuman, it is 
anti humanity it is anti nature uh, i i am surprised uh, to see that uh, nehru gandhi and congress are popularly blamed for partition whereas uh, it is true that uh, congress adopted the soft hindu line uh, despite this the hindu elements in bengal they executed the partition plan and uh, uh, this story is uh, uh, just uh, uh, has been exposed by us and uh, uh, i wonder if netaji had returned to india in this scenario what would the rss activists the bazrangis the hindu brigade would have done to netaji i condemn the economic blockade of nepal and uh, i appeal all the nations involved in the malayan geopolitics and in south asia to respect the sovereignty of nepal uh, the nepalese people are efficient enough to address their internal conflict as we would not like any international or third party interference in kashmir or central india or north east we should uh, uh, we should uh, skip this act of inhuman uh, interference to push the hindu agenda in nepal mr prime minister the sark summit failure is the example from which you must learn that politics is quite diff- uh, different from diplomacy and diplomacy is quite different from politics thank you let me speak to you